Who is Warren Buffett? Mr. Warren Buffett is a business magnate, philanthropist, and investor from the United States. He is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway right now. As of July 2022, he was worth more than $98 billion and was the eighth richest person in the world. He was also one of the best investors in history. Buffett was born in Omaha, Nebraska, on August 30, 1930. He is a very rich person. When he was younger, he was interested in business and making money. When he was 19, he moved to the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania to finish his education. He did end up going there. The school where he got his degree was the University of Nebraska. At Columbia Business School, where he finally got his MBA, he based his approach to investing on Benjamin Graham's idea of value investing. He went to the New York Institute of Finance to focus on economics. Soon after, he began working with Graham on a number of business projects. In 1956, he set up Buffett Partnership, Limited. Then, using the name Berkshire Hathaway to make a holding company with a variety of businesses, his company bought the textile maker, Commitment to Value Investing. Early Life and Schooling He is the only child of Layla and Congressman Howard Buffet. He was the second of three children that Layla and Howard Buffett had. He signed up for Rose Hill Elementary School to start his education. Warren went to Alice Deal Junior High School after he finished elementary school. This was because his family had to move because his father was running for office. Then, in 1947, Warren graduated from what was then called Woodrow Wilson High School. His senior yearbook entry said, likes math, wants to be a stockbroker. Buffett wanted to skip college and go straight into business after he graduated from high school and did well with his side businesses and investments, but his father told him not to. Buffett was good at business and investing from a young age. When he was seven, he got the book, 1000 Ways to Make $1000, from the Omaha Public Library. Early in his life, Buffett did a lot of business-related things. Buffett's first business was selling chewing gum, coke bottles, and monthly magazines door-to-door. -door. His grandfather ran a grocery store where he worked. While he was still in high school, he delivered newspapers, sold golf balls, stamps, shiny cars, and other things. In 1945, Buffett and a friend put a vintage pinball machine they had bought for $25 when they were sophomores in high school in a nearby barbershop. In a short amount of time, they had machines in three barbershops in Omaha. Later that year, they sold their business to war veterans for $1,200, which was a good amount of money. As a young boy, Buffett spent time in the customer's lounge of a local stock brokerage near his father's brokerage office. This is where he became interested in the stock market and trading. He went to New York City when he was 10 and saw the New York Stock Exchange. He bought six shares of City Service, three for himself and three for his sister Doris Buffett, who is also a billionaire. He had just turned 11. Warren started delivering the Washington Post when he was 15 and made more than $175 a month doing it. He put money into his dad's business while he was still in high school and bought a 40-acre farm that was run by a tenant farmer. When he was 14, he bought the land with the $1,200 he had saved up. Buffett had saved $9,800 by the time he got his undergraduate degree, which is about $112,000 in today's money. In 1947, Buffett went to the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. Personal Life In 1949, Buffett was crazy about a young woman whose boyfriend played the ukulele. In order to compete, he bought one of the instruments and has been using it ever since. Even though the project didn't work out, his interest in music had a big impact on Susan Thompson's life, which led to their marriage. Buffett uses the instrument often during stockholder meetings, as well as other times. Dave Talsma was hired to make two unique Dairy Queen ukuleles because he loves playing them. One of them was auctioned off to raise money for charity. In 1952, Buffett married Susan Buffett, formerly Thompson, Susie, Howard, and Peter, their three children, were born. Even though they stopped living together in 1977, they stayed married until Susan Buffett died in July 2004. Through the Susan A. Buffett Foundation in Omaha, one of their children, Susie, works for a good cause. Buffett married Astrid Manx, a friend he had known since his wife left him in 1977, when he was 76 years old. She was 60 years old at the time. 
Susan set up a meeting between the two of them before she left Omaha to become a singer. Warren, Susie, and Astrid all knew each other well, so they all signed their Christmas cards to friends. Before she died, Susan did a short interview on The Charlie Rose Show in which she talked about Jimmy Buffett's private life. Buffet cut ties with his son Peter's adopted daughter Nicole in 2006. She had been in the Jamie Johnson movie The One Percent, which showed how the wealth gap between the richest Americans and the rest of the country was growing. In a letter to Nicole, Buffett said that neither he nor the rest of his family had emotionally or legally adopted you as a granddaughter, even though Buffett's first wife had called Nicole one of her adored grandchildren. In 2006, Buffett made around $100,000 a year, which was low compared to what other senior executives at similar companies were paid. In 2008, he made a total of $175,000, but his base salary was only $100,000. He kept living in the same house in the central Omaha neighborhood of Dundee, which he had bought in 1958 for $31,500, a small amount of what it is worth now. He also owned a second home in Laguna Beach, California, he bought it for $150,000 in 1971. He sold it for $7.5 million in 2018. In 1989, Buffett bought a private plane from Berkshire Hathaway for almost $6.7 million. He called the plane, the indefensible. Health of Buffet. Buffett was told on April 11, 2012, during a regular checkup that he has stage 1, 1, prostate disease. In the middle of July, he said that he would start daily radiation therapy for the next two months. Buffett told investors in a letter that he felt great, like he was in his usual great health, and that his energy level was at 100%. Later, Buffett said that he had finished all 44 days of radiation treatment on September 15, 2012. It was a great day for him, he said, and he was very happy to say it was over. Wealth and Charitable Donating Forbes named Buffett the richest person in the world in 2008, based on his estimated net worth of close to $62 billion. Buffett was the second richest person in the United States in 2009, after Bill Gates, with a net worth of $37 billion. This was because he gave a lot of money to charity. His wealth has grown to $58.5 billion by September 2013. In 1999, the Carson Group did a survey to find out who was the best money manager of the 20th century. Buffett came out on top, beating out John Templeton and Peter Lynch. Time magazine said that he was one of the 100 most important people in the world in 2007. In 2011, President Barack Obama gave him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Foreign Policy did a study in 2010 that said Buffett and Bill Gates were the two most influential people in the world. Buffett has written many times about how he believes that in a market economy, the rich get rewarded too much for what they do well. Not much of his wealth will be given to his children, he once said, I want to give my kids just enough so they feel like they can do anything. But not so much that they want to do nothing. Buffett made a new plan in June 2006 to give 83% of his wealth to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.